Welcome back to the channel everyone. Um, before we get started in this video, I just want to let you guys know um, I plan on doing a Q&A later this week and so if you guys want to leave your questions or comments, leave them down in the comments section below and I will try to answer any of those on the Q&A video. Um, or you can send me a message on Instagram. My Instagram is always linked down in the description below. Um, so you can message me there, send me some questions, and I'll try to answer those on video for you guys. It won't be live because our internet here is already bad enough where I can't upload videos at home. So um, it definitely doesn't work on a live video. So if you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down in the comment section below or my Instagram, and I'll be sure to get those and uh, film a Q&A video for you all. So. As you all can tell, this is the group of the two Jersey Steers and the one free Martin Heifer from my first year. Um, so the deal on these guys, uh, this one, Martin's at the sales barn, they're bringing about 50 cents, so uh, not really worth not really worth selling. Um, had it for two years, had the intent of butchering her since they're not worth much. Um, paid 135 for after milk replacer, I'd probably got Milk replacer and feed, I've probably got, I don't know, 350, 400 in her. And if she's only going to bring four or 500, you know, it's not really worth selling her. So, um, since we do have the ability to butcher here at home, uh, we do a lot of, uh, well, we do our own deer, and so we have all the equipment. Uh, we're just going to be butchering her ourselves, since uh, won't really be worth selling. Um, and then these two Jersey steers right here and the one over there those two they're about a year and a half if you guys remember those they're about a year and a half old um we're raised on a cow together cow lost her calf but you can check out that video if you want to get some more background information on them but about the size of jersey steers i will say um they're a little bit wider they've got more of a brisket and more of a rear end on them than a normal jersey would but um anyway they're a year and a half old and once again, jerseys aren't worth that much either. So what we're gonna do there is, I found two family friends and they are, they're interested in splitting one. And so one of these we're gonna butcher here as well with the help of them. Um, so they're gonna help us out butcher these and, or butcher one of these. And um, that'll be the best way to get uh, the price I need out of them. So right now I'd say they're maybe 800 pounds, uh, maybe 900 if I'm lucky, but I'd say about eight's more accurate. Uh, anyway, they look pretty good, and I don't think they're going to be doing much more growing here soon. So, anyway, so as you can tell, we're dumping, dumping quite a bit of feed to them. Uh, this is because if you're going to butcher the last 60 days before you butcher, if you give them as much feed as they'll eat, I don't know. We've just noticed the meat's more tender. There's a lot more higher quality fat, and they just taste better. So. Um, so that's the diet they're on now. They also have access to a 10 acre pasture out there. So um, they're on grass and a lot of grain. We've also got three call cows that are in here with them. I think they're just too afraid to come in here while I'm in here, but uh, we're gonna get them in here, let them finish up the grain. And these guys will be butchered here in a month or two. We could do it in the summer, but our freezer doesn't work as well in the summer, so it's easier to do it when it's cool. So the freezer doesn't, doesn't have to do as much work, so. And another thing, this guy here in the middle, um, if you remember, I had him and one other one. They were the Brahma cross calves. Uh, he probably weighs a good 350, 400 pounds, so I'm going to throw him in with my other group of calves. Uh, he'll be able to compete with them quite well for grain, I think. So, and the black one, if you guys remember him, uh, he, ended up, he ended up biting the dust. I don't know what happened to him. He just all of a sudden went downhill, like within a week stopped eating he didn't have pneumonia um, I've never seen anything like it and he just couldn't walk anymore I think that was because he wasn't eating and drinking and he was gone pretty quick so I don't know what happened to him but he didn't last long and so that's one more down that didn't make it so anyway but this guy's doing perfectly fine as you can tell he looks he looks really good so um, anyway I'm going to go find the call cows, try to drive them in here, and try to get this feed finished up.
Looks like we've had a couple new births. Uh, this one, yeah, she's a couple days old. Um, the one up there on the pond bank is also a couple days old. I'll see if they'll let me get a little closer. I don't think they will. They don't seem to like me too much. Um, but yeah, for a week there we didn't have any born and then we had two born one day, two born the next, and looks like three born the last two days. So anyway, pretty good looking calves there, not too bad. I don't know if that cow there doesn't know which where her calf is or what. But hopefully she didn't claim the calf isn't hers. And I'm gonna check those three over there. So she found hers right there. That one there is new. That wasn't born yesterday, so pretty good looking after there. And that's a good cow, so we'll probably keep her, depending on what she looks like, of course. red one we've had more in a while but um, it doesn't have a completely white face so it won't be too bad at the sail barn that one's a couple days old and this one here is a couple days old as well uh, another good heifer calf will probably keep her so not right out of there and this calf here, uh, this is out of my cow right there. She's a Brangus looking cow. Um, he was born yesterday. That's kind of a weird deal. She's had four red white face calves in a row and this year she finally had a black bull. So she's never had a heifer. I don't know what her deal is. I'd like to keep a heifer back from her, but she won't give me one. So yeah, anyway, surprised she had a black one finally. She's clearly not, not a, homozygous dominant black but um, anyway had a good calf so a pretty heavy milker so um, she always has one of the biggest calves and even though she's a pretty small framed cow she only weighs probably maybe a thousand or eleven hundred um, but she milks super heavy which we have enough good grass here she can we can have pretty heavy milking cows and not not worry about it so give me a couple good calves I just wish you'd give me one heifer so I could keep it back and anyway just got one more cow to check she's down there in the woods I'm assuming that means she had one if she didn't that means she's having trouble As you can tell she's a wild nutty cow so uh, she's one that if she doesn't have a calf she'll run away from you as soon as you pull in the field She's not a cow you want to keep around because if you get her in the corral she'll want to kill you and if you get too close to her out in the field and she feels threatened she'll also try to kill you so um, we didn't know if she was bred but she ended up calving so we will keep her until the calf is weaned and then she's going to town she's not worth messing with so she didn't used to be this way we normally call mean heifers when they're younger you only keep the ones that are pretty docile and so I don't know what happened. She all of a sudden turned crazy in the last year or two and don't put up with it. So she's gonna go to town, probably be turned into burger or another poor guy's gonna end up buying her and deal with her attitude. So anyway, she had a calf. I think she had a heifer. So I'll have to make sure to not keep her heifer. Anyway guys, I think, I think there was nine I showed you guys, maybe. I don't even know, I'll have to go back and check. But um, so I think there's nine calves out here. That leaves probably about 15 left to calve this, this fall. Um, normally we have our cows preg checked uh, a couple months after they're, they should be getting bred and this year we didn't get around to it, we had a lot of stuff going on so what we've been doing is we've been separating off the cows that have calved and we've been moving them ahead of the ones that haven't calved yet and so um, that'll just show us at the end of the season which ones didn't calve, which ones weren't bred. Um, for the most part I think all of them are showing, there may be one or two that I have my doubts on but uh, I'd say it's pretty good. I know the majority of them are showing, so they ought to calve here within the next month, if not sooner. So, um, anyway, pretty good calving season. We only had two issues, which would be the two cows that I, sh that I showed you, the two call cows. 
um, with their calves. Those were the only issues we had. We did pull one, um, and that was, we think we jumped the gun. We think she would have had it on her own, but we weren't gonna be around um, there in an hour, so we wanted to make sure she had it. Uh, so we did pull one, um, but I'd say it was a pretty good season. Not really many issues. We normally don't have any calving issues. Um, I mean, issues we'd have to pull a calf for, so. Um, that's where some good EPDs and good numbers come in. So kind of minimized all those issues. Um, good heifers we don't tend to ever hardly have problems with. And we calve out quite a few heifers, so. No way to feed the calves. Right into an issue. Well, it was pretty windy last night, but. It's an old dead tree. Let's see if I can lift it off. Anyway, path clear now. So I had to go in. It started raining there for about 20 minutes. Pretty heavy downpour. As I shared in the last video, the kittens, I had to cover them up. Because the old tarp that was here wasn't going to be good enough. So see how they did with the rain. Like they're all doing good. Their eyes are all open now. This is week two, I guess. So it's the chubby little girl here. Add her back to the pile. Hey, they are uh, putting off some heat. They're warm. Staying warm. So I just thought I'd show you guys this. Um, so this is the old trailer we got. It's a 16 footer gooseneck. And we got a pretty good deal on it a few years back. And we used to never even have a trailer. And we still don't use this to haul calves to market. I mean, I used it on my Holsteins just because they'd fit. But normally we have a few pot loads come and they'll haul them off for us. But um, we've been using this thing just to haul, you know, a couple cows bulls whatever but um anyway the last time we were hauling bulls back to the house uh two of them they decided to start fighting as soon as they stepped foot on here so we didn't get them locked in in time and they started fighting and we couldn't get the trailer shut so um anyway they tore up this floor it was this they tore that up and so, me and my dad, we just put this, we added, we replaced the messed up end here. Um, I don't know, these were some treated pine boards that we already had from other building projects. And um, there's a couple, I think, that weren't treated. But anyway, these are nailed in. We just followed the same pattern that stuff up there was. We added one in the middle, though. Um, just for some durability but anyway we soaked all these in some used motor oil and that will normally make make these boards last a long time um, anyway these boards ought to last at least eight to ten years at a minimum and I'm thinking 15 is probably more like it so anyway just a little construction project I thought I'd show you guys uh, this is what we're gonna be hauling the call cows in, in the morning so just thought I'd show you before we actually use it get it all covered in poop and all that so so guys, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, make sure you leave your comments and questions, any of that down below, or send them to me on my Instagram, um, which will be in the description, because uh, I will be filming a Q&A. So make sure you leave those down below, and I'll be sure to get to those. They can be about anything you want, um, and I'll just answer the ones that need to be answered. And 
Um, probably won't be able to get to them all. I may film a second one if I can't. So okay, ask whatever questions you'd like and I'll be sure to answer those. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.